Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today we're going to be working on division using a single or a double digit divisor. But first, let's take a look at some rules. So I have these rules here and it says divisibility rules. A number is divisible by two if it ends in zero or an even number. Another number is divisible by three if the sum of the digits is divisible by three. And there's others on here. You can freeze the frame and go over it. Next, I have the order for long division. I love this. I saw this in a friend's classroom and it was dirty monkeys smell bad. Dirty, divide, monkeys, multiply, smell, subtract, bad, bring down, and then you repeat the process until you have either a remainder or it zeroes out. And then also the order of operations. This will be helpful for when you're looking at different problems when you're trying to figure it out. I'm just putting it up there for you so you can have a better understanding of what we're going through here. Okay, let's get started with working with a single digit divisor. This three right here and in this division sentence, it, they are both divisors because we're taking this number which is the dividend here and here which is 396 and we're dividing it by 3. So the dividend is divided by the divisor and then the result or the answer is the quotient. Let's get to work. Okay, let's work this out. Now remember, dirty monkey smell bad. Divide, or we're dividing, 396 divided by 3. Monkeys, we're going to multiply the divisor by a number to, because we're trying to subtract it from here. So to find the answer. So how many threes go into one three? Well, just one. So I put the one up here at the top as part of the quotient. I'm one times three is equal to three. I bring that down, I have a zero. And then, look at that, I'm going to bring down this nine. Easy peasy, that's that bring down. Okay, repeat the process. How many threes go into nine? Well, I know that three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine. Oh, so I should have a three up here as part of my quotient. Three times three is nine. Zero that out. I bring down that six. How many threes go into six? Well, we already did it. Three, six, so it's two. So my quotient is 132, and this zeroes out. Boom. We just finished a single digit divisor division problem, long division problem, in fact. Let's take a look at another one real quick. Okay, now our dividend, which is this 5,125, that's a four digit number divided by the divisor of five, a single digit number. Let's go to town. So how many fives go into five? There we go. Well, one times five is five. I zero that out and I bring down that one. Hmm. Is one divided by five? I'm not able to do that. So I have to come up here and put a zero. One thing to note, notice how I'm keeping all of my numbers in their columns. Just remember that. Okay, so I, it's zero. So I can bring down this two now. And now I have something to divide by. Hmm. So how many fives can go into 12? Five, 10. I can't go to 15 because that's too much. So I have five, 10. So I have two fives. That's 10. And I do that subtraction. Remember, dirty monkey smell bad. I'm in the smell portion here, so I'm going to subtract that. So I get 2, okay? And then I bring down that 5. 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There we go. So 5 fives. 25, zeroed it out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I want you to work on this. And remember, it's the same principles that we're going to be working with when we have a double digit divisor. Let's move on to that. Okay, friends, we're looking at this problem. 
It's 939 divided by 57. You're going, oh, geez, I can't do this. Yes, you can. But think about this. Hmm, how can I do this? Well, there's many different ways, but let's, let's tackle this. So, can I multiply or, so, you know, I have 9. Is there anything that, you know, I can't divide that by 57. How about 93? do one for 93 so let's do that because two because two times 57 is going to be 114 because that's 50 times 2 is 100 and 7 times 2 is 14 add them together we have 114 I, I, I can't do that so it's we're gonna go with that one so I'm gonna have 57 hmm so now I'm in that subtraction phase here. I'm going, well, wait a minute. I need to borrow one here so that turns into 8. And this is 13. So I have 6. Following me now? 369. Hmm. Now we can look at this. Instead of going, we can round this down and say, well, how many 50s go into here? Or we can round it up. I think I'm going to round it up. So I'm going to say 60. So, if I have 60 and I multiply it five times, I'm going to get 300. That's a little bit closer here. So, maybe I do it six times 57. Let's do the math over here real quick. So, 57, six times, six times seven is 42. Five times six is 30, and uh, four, so 342. That got me in the ballpark. See, I used rounding to get me in the ballpark, and then I multiplied it by what I thought might fit. Okay, so there's six. I'm going to come down here, write down 342. I'm going to do my subtraction. Nine minus two is seven. Six minus four is two. 27. Three minus three is zero, so we just leave it at 27. Then we can say 16 remainder 27. There you go. Let's try one more double digit divisor problem. Okay, let's take a look at this problem. It's a double digit divisor and then I have a four digit dividend. The process is the same. Let's get started. So 25, how many 25's can I fit inside that 67? Well, I can do 25 plus 25 is 50, that fits. If I add 25 more, that'd be 75. That does not fit. So I can only do 2 right here. So 2 times 25 is 50. And I subtract that. So 7 minus 0 is 7. 6 minus 5 is 1. And 5 just comes on down. I'm going to bring that down. Remember? Okay. And I'm going to bring that 5. So 175. Well, I know that four 25s, remember like four quarters, make 100 cents or one dollar, so that's 100. And then 25 plus 25 is 50, and another 50, so I'm sitting there looking at uh, 75, so three 25s plus four 25s is seven 25s, and that's gonna give me 175. I'm gonna subtract that, I'm gonna have zero, I'm gonna bring that zero down here. So, wait a minute, I still have to do, I have to finish this out, because if you look at my columns, I, this is lined up, this is lined up. So I need to multiply that by zero times 25 is zero to get my answer. So this is my answer with no remainder. Next up, in the next video, I'll be working with division using decimals. If you know how to do this, you will be able to do it with decimals. Until next time, I'm Mr. Woods Teaches, and remember, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and math fluency replaces math anxiety.